Good morning, everybody. So today's video, what I wanted to focus on is the modem in the Pixel 10, as it is the Exynos 5400, which is uh, the same modem that's in the Pixel 9. So a lot of people were pretty much upset about that just because I guess uh, T-Mobile's new advanced 5G network, they say that this won't access it as far as what I'm reading online. Um, but anyways, yeah, I just wanted to show, you know, what kind of speeds I get. So I'm going to run a speed test at home and at several places that I go to. So, um, let's see, let's open up uh, NetMonster here so you guys can see what I'm connecting to. Um, but like where my, where my, uh, my home sits, exactly where I sit at is a very bad spot for T-Mobile. Now, people would be like, if it's bad for T-Mobile, why do you stay with T-Mobile? We're basically Google Fi, and it's uh, everywhere else I go, it works really good. And I have home Wi-Fi here, so um, anyways, there we go. So we're picking up on something. So the first speed test I ran this morning to test was like 6.55 down and like um, one point something on the up. This one is 1.91 down, no not one, sorry, 191 down and it looks like we're getting five up. I'm like on the edge of connecting to a tower that um, disperses a uh, pretty good signal. Um, obviously the area is supposed to be okay because it allows T-Mobile home internet so anyways, that's my first speed test inside my bedroom uh, with Google Fi that runs on a T-Mobile network. So I'm going to go to a different area and run a speed test there for you guys so you guys can see um, how the uh, speeds 5G connectivity with the Exynos 5400 modem in the Pixel 10, how it's going to work out, at least on the T-Mobile network. I can't speak for like Verizon or AT&T because I don't have those services to test. All right, so one of the things that I noticed running speed tests with the Pixel 10 in various different places, obviously, um, the connection that it shows as I speed this up for you guys so you guys can get through the other speed tests that I've done, the numbers in this situation, as I tell people too, doesn't really stand up for much. I mean, the latency does, which is one of the most important things here. But other than that, I mean, whether it's 100 megabits per second on a download or one gigabit per second on a download, your Facebook is going to open the same way. And so is your X and so is your threads and your Instagram. All that is going to open the same way. Like the things that's mostly affected when it comes to network connectivity is online mobile gaming and uh, video playback. So if you're one who just has to have your video super crispy and you need that fast speeds plus low latency for the high resolution 4k viewing uh, that's where this will come into play if you're somebody that you know plays online games like call of duty or fortnite or any of those even roblox and all that stuff well then yes of course you'll appreciate the low latency which is the time that it takes for files to travel the distance between point a and point b so you know while connecting to the network is a very important part of it it is not the end-all be-all and so, yeah, I think it did pretty decent. 